screw ups, making it snappy. Welcome everyone to the screw up snappy. You're on with Don and Mon. <laughs> And we make our own opportunities in the span of time minutes. So um, we have a guest with us today. If you'd like to introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Gaya Mendoza. I'm 23 years old from Davao City. I'm a content creator slash businesswoman. So yeah, right. nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice. you too. Thank you for saying uh-huh. yes to us this early in the day. No problem. Yeah, Good love morning. the background also. Yeah, nature. I wish we could have nature back. Garden. Too. I mean, I could in my balcony, but that's kind of dangerous, no? If I you want to go <laughs> if I just sit out there in the balcony, <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm on a pretty high up floor. So how this is gonna work is so we're gonna have a timed ten minute. We decided to make it ten minute um interview slash the Quantuhan sesh. No need to be tense. Everyone can just talk about whatever they want. You know, let's see where the conversation will go. This is really just more to show that, you know, people's social skills haven't died just because, you know, COVID happened and we're sure. all limited to interactions like this, right? We still still make your own opportunities to meet people and to make new friends and to just have people share about what they love doing. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to start the timer. I almost <laughs> opened my calculator again. That happened once i accidentally <laughs> opened my calculator and i was looking for the timer okay so zero seconds okay ready and ready. go go okay so how you said you've been roller you've been roller skating for two years long yes i've been roller skating since december 2020 what that's mm. barely like that's that's just a little more than one year then yeah i started during the pandemic because i've it started when I watched videos on TikTok, like people roller skating in the States. And then I said, I wanted to try this. And then there was a local shop here in Davao. I mean, in the Philippines that was get- selling skates. So I bought skates for myself and I practiced at home. So that's nice. how You're self-taught? Yeah. I watched no way. YouTube. What? <laughs> Swear. Dude, everything that I got, you can do Yeah, online, you can do at right? home. Mm-hmm. Too. Like YouTube going to find yeah. tutorials and all of that. So it's pretty fun. I don't remember the last time I skated. Maybe when I was a kid, you know, one of those shoes. With the yeah, did you have those those cool kid shoes? The one that yeah. they like kind yeah, of slide out of the... during like family mm-hmm. gatherings. Too. Yeah. Yeah, that's the last time probably. <laughs> the heck you had those pala also. Yeah, man. Oh I, I didn't I didn't have those. I was on the cool kid then. <laughs> So, like, why did you, like, since you mentioned TikTok now, why did you, like, start posting on TikTok? Or even, like, just getting on the platform itself and, you know, sharing uh, your videos? Everyone was on TikTok during 2020, right? The That's true. Yeah. During mm. pandemic. So, I was curious. And then I just started posting my progress. If you check my TikTok, it was all about skating, like, starting how to balance it started from the very start i just wanted to check my progress and then one video blew up of me dancing to just the two of us so yeah while on roller skates or just yeah. play dancing oh damn okay. yeah see that's why I, I don't believe that it's only been two years because it takes a lot to like have that confidence now you can film videos while you're skating like i i would probably yeah. fall on my ass so many unrecorded though. Out of, oh, really? Yung mga drafts, yung yeah, minor injuries drafts. and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. like one video, it takes about 15 drafts. So, oh, wow, 15? Yeah, you just choose the best one. Oh. That's how it works. That's pretty interesting. And you are one of the, I think, the only person from the Philippines, I think, who I've seen post, like, skating content. Like There are a lot, actually, in Manila. I went to Manila last week, and I visited friends that I met from TikTok. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. like, never, you never met them in person? They were just, like... Never met them, yeah. I just asked this girl named Polly. She's from Manila. She's also a roller skater. Mm-hmm. You should check her out. Girly Polly. Oh, I love that. Damn, that's pretty cool. Skate. Yeah, and then we skated at Circulo Verde. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In How was it, man? It was so nice. It was fun to meet like other skaters. 
she brought her yeah, friend. Uh-oh. So I'm not the only the one here in the Philippines. I'm the Ayun. only Yeah, content lang Uh-oh. sa Davao, but in Manila, there's a lot. There's like a whole community. It's called Everywhere We Skate. And exactly. Oh, that's what I love about yung going online, diba, and posting your kind of content. And then eventually, you discover a community of people yeah. doing the same yeah. thing as you. And yeah. then you meet up with them, diba? And you meet new friends who share the same thing that you like doing. And ayun, diba? You have a... Power of the internet. Mm-hmm, exactly. Oh, so diba? true. That's so that fun. That's pretty cool. Uh, I imagine you guys take like, roller skating lang, like in like an open space and whatnot, <laughs> having fun. Yeah, we were like creating content for TikToks and they taught mm. me some tricks. It was very fun and interesting. It's actually on my TikTok also. I made a video about it. Mini vlog. Yeah, that's pretty cool that you also do mini vlogs though. I mean, and you also do like, you have your food reviews for people who are like visiting Dava. So oh, so yeah, do yeah. people like use you as their basis for like where to eat now? Like do people I'm hit you up when they're going to sure. go there and they're like, Actually, where should we I'm eat? Actually, I'm not really a food vlogger. It started because a guy messaged me if I could make a video for tourism Philippines. Mm. So it was like so simultaneous. I think they wanted people to go out and eat and like explore places. So mine was in Davao. Like I had to recommend restaurants around Davao City. So it was top five. It was simultaneous with people from like Bohol, Dimagate, Bacolod. Like, oh. yeah, it was a tourism thing. So I made that video and then for this project, And then after, I decided to continue it. Like, when I went out, when I go out to eat, I, like, take videos of my food. So, yeah. Yeah, that's how I mean, who doesn't started. love eating, though? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, man. <laughs> There are a lot of good food places that open during the pandemic also. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. And a lot of people really got into, like, eating talaga more because... They had to have choices to where to order from no, during COVID yeah. and everything. So people really got in touch with like, you know, their standards for food change. They're open to trying pretty much anything. Because like, why not? If you're already living through a pandemic. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of food businesses also started. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of business, since you mentioned also in the intro that you're a businesswoman. Yeah. So can you tell us something about your business? So, um, I graduated uh, with a degree of mass communication, minor in psychology, mm-hmm. but I decided oh, nice. <laughs> to open up a business also during the pandemic. So, mm-hmm. before, during the start of the pandemic, I started Photos Plots, Plots, Photos Plants, rather. I used to sell like pots and plants, and then it went to Photos Vintage. I sold like Um, ceramics and decor and That's then so cool. I changed to Glow Home so I opened up a bunch of uh, <laughs> businesses during the pandemic Glow Home was like we sold mirrors and okay. then now what I'm doing is so I stopped all of those already mm-hmm. and then now I'm doing Picnics Davao so we have a farm in Takunan And oh. then I host picnics. So basically, wow. at our farm, like I arrange picnics for people that want to date or go out with their friends in nature. So you can check it out at Picnics Davao. So yeah. Tarotan, let's go to wow, Davao. good for you. That sounds so awesome. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like such a cool idea. Actually. Yeah, like, so you an just organized go picnic. there and you can bring your food and enjoy nature because it's surrounded with Um, mango trees, the place. Oh, like man. very fresh. Bukid feels. Bukid feels. I love Shit. it. And oh. I manage our resort in Samal. It's called Hayahay Beach Resort. So you guys should check that out also. When you're mm-hmm. in Davao, you can go to Samal. It's just like a 15 bar right away to the okay. beach. Okay. Um, that sounds like such a promising vacation. Traman, let's go. 
Yeah, nga, yeah. Just leave the city, yeah. honestly. Like, shut down. Yeah. Let's go for like a week. That's all our content. We can vlog that whole thing. And I know, beach. Oh, okay. I want the beach. Perfect. That's the number one I've been looking for since COVID started. Yeah, I haven't yet. I haven't gone yet. <laughs> I haven't also. Yo, I haven't been to the Here? beach since like 2014. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm deprived like of sun. Oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so we have this really fun um, kind of last question type thing. So we made a list of questions from 1 to 30. And we assigned a random question for each. So pick a number between 1 to 30. Seven. <laughs> seven. Okay. What's number seven? seven? Okay, if you could trade lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Oh my gosh. Wait, whose life? Ah, I want to trade lives with Bretman Rock. You guys oh, Bretman okay. Rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bretman Rock, he's just like skating in Hawaii. And the yeah. is so nice. Like yeah. going around with his dogs and driving mm-hmm. around Hawaii. It's just a chill island life. So yeah. I want to try for a day. So if you could move to Hawaii, would you? Um, a lot of people Davao? skate there. I know Come that. On, That's really like a <laughs> move to Hawaii. I would probably consider it, but I feel like Davao is like home. I can visit like hmm. places, but I would go back to Davao. All right, maybe right just on. a vacation, a two month vacation. Yeah, maybe two three months, and then yeah, after that, yeah. go back. <laughs> All right, that's 10 minutes. See? See how fast nice. it oh, wow. goes by? Yo, I love that. It's so nice. Yeah, we mm-hmm. don't realize the the importance of, you know, how much time really matters now until you're in the middle of the convo. Like, we've had plans for episodes that we thought we're going to go for mga 30 minutes and then when we're done, it's an hour and a half. Then. Yeah, like, what? Yeah, no yeah. way. So, so, it's, yeah, it's crazy how much time goes by. No, but the purpose of why we we make it so short also is, you know, we want to give people the potential to, you know, if they're down to come back for any future content and all of that. So you're always welcome back, you know, hey, if you want to be part of any far. any podcast in the future. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to plug before we we end this? Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That's Gaya Mendoza. G E I A M E N D O Z A A A. So three A's at the end. Mm. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. All right. Of course, thank, thank you, you for also. being here with us. And yeah, if you guys want to see Gaya come back, just let us know in like the comments or in our socials. Whatever you want to see her talk about next, yeah, we'll try and get her back <laughs> in her busy skater life. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, thank you again for being here with us. And good luck on your future endeavors. Yes, thank you. You too. This has been a Screw Ups Snappy Ep. We will see you guys in the next episode.